today's video, we're gonna have a go at making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles skateboard cake. So for today's cake, I'm gonna be using some ganache that's actually made with gold chocolate, caramel flavor, but I thought the color fit really well for like the backing color. And I've got a square cake, it's six by six inches. I'm gonna use green buttercream in between. So we're gonna stack two of those up. A six inch cake that we've cut in half for the top of the skateboard. Then I'm gonna cover the whole thing in that gold colored ganache again. And you'll notice it looks a slightly different color once it starts to set, but it's still the same stuff. So smooth it off, put that to one side. Gonna draw out the hand that's gonna go on top of the skateboard. So I've printed off a picture to the size that I want it. And I'm just kind of rubbing around the edges. I've drawn underneath it in pencil so the pencil lines will show through. Now I'm painting using dipping solution or you can use like rejuvenated spirit or clear alcohol. And then I'm using the powdered colors. So these are edible. I thought these would be ideal for just painting on this. And it's modeling paste that I've got here. So you can use fondant with some Tylos powder in to make it firm up. but modeling paste I thought was going to firm a little bit harder for me for this so that I can cut it out and it will keep its shape and then that's just to stick on the top of our cake ready we're going to do the same thing for the skateboard wheels as well so it's just on modeling paste we've marked out an outline and then I'm going to paint them using the edible powders and it's quite sketchy looking like I, I really like the look of the animation in this film I did actually go see the film it was really good it looks very kind of hand drawn and it's meant to have like little squiggly lines on it all over but I'm just layering up with the colors. I think I'll go see it again actually as well. I did really enjoy it. So if you're not overly neat with it, it almost doesn't really matter too much. So once you've done the wheels, you can stick those on. I've just stuck them with ganache and then I'm actually swapping from the powder paints to using the cocoa paints. What I'll do is I'll put links below the video to everything I've used, but these are like cocoa butter paints. Um, these are the Squires Kitchen ones. I did try using an edible pen on some parts, but the pen didn't work as well. So I ended up going back over with the cocoa colors. So it's basically cocoa butter mixed with like powdered colors. So the edible powdered colors, but you'll see in the pots in the corner of the screen, I have them already colored. So you buy them in certain colors. I did alter the colors a little bit you can see in the lids I added white to a lot of them because I painted like dark blue background with those cocoa colors and then because basically I used them because I thought they would sit better on the ganache than the powdered colors mixed with the clear alcohol would do but they didn't show very well unless I added a bit of white to them you can see me now painting just white patches on as well if I have a whiter background it means then when I put more color over the top it shows a little bit better for some of the colors I just added white to the colors and it worked okay also, I was kind of guessing a bit what was on the skateboard, so mine isn't really the same as the one in the picture, which I was hoping it would be, but it's not. And now that I've seen the film, I feel like the things on the skateboard make a lot more sense to me. And I wish instead of using my printout, I had just looked at the picture on my computer instead where it would have given me a clearer image. This one is supposed to be like a little tortoise shell uh, that I painted on. Yeah, mine didn't look like it very well <laughs> much at all. But I'm just layering up different colors on here. So you can see when I paint like that lime green, I think this is meant to be a torn sticker that's stuck on their skateboard. It paints better over the top of the white. I start scraping away some of the cocoa colors. So the cocoa butter colors, that once they've set to reveal that chocolate ganache underneath, it's like that kind of caramelly come out color.
I did mark out where I wanted the writing to be rather than just guessing. I think I did manage to mark it slightly off center, but hopefully it's not too noticeable. And I had to go over the lettering a couple of times for it to sort of show up properly. So I'm just lightening the edges of the green letters a little bit. more scratching into the surface and if you don't want to scratch away at the surface like what I am doing and you know you don't have to use the cocoa butter colors if you don't want but they scratched off quite nicely for me but you can paint those little lines on instead so here I am painting a few of those lines on but if you prefer that to the scratching turtles so again I did mark on the letters so I cut out of the template that I had the letters and then held the template over the top so I knew where about to put these and then I'm just gonna paint some yellow around the edge and all the cocoa butter paints look a little bit neater when we go around with a black sort of outline which you can see me just doing it on the little stickers they've got like a few like stickers and things of these I don't know what what are they called just let me know in the comments below what these things are called at them are they Raphael's I'm just gonna call them little stabby knives um, I know that's not what they're called a bit of an outline around it it makes a big difference to the outline but you do want to use nice fine brush now the only problem is the cocoa butter paints can ruin your paintbrushes if you're not careful really give them a good wash you'll have to wash them in hot water because the cocoa butter does set on your brush as it cools so you want to keep it warm so you can see while I'm just painting this letter in my cocoa paints are in a glass dish that I have actually filled with warm water so the little bottles of my cocoa colors being kept warm and fluid because they set hard if not I'll put links below the video guys to it all the paints and stuff as well I didn't space the letters out very well despite me trying to use a template to get them on there transfer it over to a nice black masonite board and there we are all finished that's the skateboard loved this movie poster when it came out and i just really wanted to have a go at making it in case didn't cut so well through the wheels but there we go thanks for watching let me know if you want any more teenage mutant ninja turtles cakes